take our laser collimator, insert it into the focusing tube and just make sure that that's firmly locked in. Move the focusing tube to the lowest position and if you have things to lock it in, lock it in. Turn it on, we do that by just turning the knob up here at the top. There should be a small laser dot right there on your target screen. If you don't see that laser dot, take off the front cap of your telescope. If you are too far off, it goes down, bounces down, hits the primary and then misses the secondary on its return, it's gonna come out the front. And in a minute, we're gonna be looking down to tube and you don't wanna look down to tube with lasers coming out of it because if you hit the eye, then you have a problem. So if you don't see the laser point here on the reticle itself, try to find it by moving your hand over and when you know where it is, then you know which side is safe to look into. Look down the tube of the telescope. Down there at the bottom, you might see a tiny donut. You can see the laser dot hitting just to the side of it. That means that my secondary mirror, which is the mirror you can see right here, is not perfectly collimated. You will often see three screws here, here, here. Those are the tilt adjustment screws and then a locking screw at the center. Usually, you would not need to move the center one here. I usually only do that once or twice a year. I'm just gonna slowly turn these screws ever so slightly. And we are talking super small, super fine adjustment. A sixteenth of a turn is a lot in this case. And if you're very far off, you might have to open that center screw, rotate the entire thing. Usually we're just talking minor, minor adjustments just to get the final tilt perfectly aligned.